Welcome back to another week of art. Today we are taking a look at Arctic animals and an artist who is known for painting Arctic animals. Make sure to open up the Arctic Animals and Landscapes Google Slides in your Google Classroom. Today we are learning about Ted Harrison, who was an artist that was born in England but moved to Canada and was an art college professor for many, many years. He painted the landscapes, the animals, and the people of Canada. I want you to spend some time looking at his art. What do you notice about the subject matter? What do you see inside of his paintings? What do you notice about the landscape? What do you notice about the colors? Make sure you join our Zoom next week this is a two week project. So this week we're really focusing on the animals and next week we'll focus on the color. So we noticed the Arctic whales, those are actually orca whales, the Arctic foxes. We noticed the people, we noticed the colors. And in particular, this page shows a lot of the different animals and sites he saw in Canada. So spend some time looking at these pictures for inspiration. When you are done taking a look at the pictures, pick an Arctic animal that you are interested in, whether it's a polar bear, a fox, a moose. Today, we focused on just drawing our Arctic animal. Next week, we're gonna worry about the background and the colors. If you need to cut out your animal and glue it into the background, that is an option for you. We talked about how to get a four on this project. You don't wanna leave it too simple. You don't wanna rush. You wanna take your time and give me lots of colors, lines, details, not necessarily animals. You only have to draw one animal, but you're welcome to do more than one. That is how you can earn a four, by taking your time, adding details and trying your best. So once you've decided which animal you want to draw, click on the animal to see the steps. You could draw an Arctic fox, you could draw a narwhal, a blue whale, or an orca whale. You could draw the Arctic wolf. You could draw a polar bear. You could draw a bunny, which is actually called an Arctic hare. You could draw the walrus, the seal, a moose, a caribou, or a bison. You could draw the puffin, the snowy owl, the bobcat, or if you're looking for a teeny tiny animal, the little Arctic lemming. I want you to pick one animal that interests you. Of course, you're welcome to draw more than one. So today, your goal after you've picked your animal is I want you to draw it as best you can. I would prefer you draw this on paper, but if you don't have any paper, you can use auto draw. So once you've made your animal, make sure you outline it in Sharpie. I'm leaving a lot of space for my background. Here's my Arctic fox. Here is my bison. And here is my blue whale. So I tried a couple different animals to figure out which one I liked best. I actually really liked the blue whale. It was kind of fun to draw. Are you allowed to draw your animals a little bit bigger? You can. You absolutely could draw your animal a little bit bigger, but you're gonna have less space for the background. And maybe that doesn't bother you. You're welcome to do that if you would like. So once again, today, pick an Arctic animal to draw. Next week, we're gonna work on our backgrounds. Make sure you don't lose these drawings so we can finish them next week. Bye-bye.